Today's video is going to be about some things to be aware of if you want to switch to a different summoner as your main. And I bring this up today because I am switching to Cleef. So I'm going to show you the best way to do that and some important things to know. If you end up liking this video, hit the sub button, hit the like button, hit that bell dingy dingy thing so you know when I post a video. Let's go, baby. Tip of the day. I don't know why com to us does this all the time, but they do a lot of things to improve the game. And then they change things for no reason that makes things 10 times worse. I'll give you two examples. In Contana, you can farm 5 star purple runes and 6 star blue runes. You can use these runes to either A, combine them for better quality, B, to sell them for gold because we all know we need gold, or C, disassemble them for rune enhancement shards. So for example, when you're AFK at night or whatever the case may be, you can go to any of these 5 star elite monsters in the creature book, go to their location and you can farm their runes. These 5 star elite units used to drop every single time 2 purple runes. After this last update it has changed. It now sometimes only drops gold. And now sometimes it only drops 1 purple 5 star rune. Before it was guaranteed to drop 2 5 star purple runes every single time. So this tremendously slows down your rune farming situation whether that's for gold or shards or whatever. But that is a pain because we need like 57 million gold just to get master profession done. Another great example is Battlefield. We do not get sky stones from Battlefield anymore. Only in the Battlefield rankings at the end of the week. Now don't get me wrong, I love this new Battlefield. Especially when I'm a danger to everyone. The battles are a lot quicker. It's more action. I just enjoy this battlefield a ton. I just love killing Cleefs. It's so much fun, even though I'm going to switch to a Cleef. Don't mind that. But the thing is, is that we don't get Sky Stones from this. Yes, we get Sky Stones now from all the raids. That is amazing. We needed more places to get Sky Stones. But you literally took out one of the other places to get them. And the thing is, is that the Battlefield shop has things that you have to pay for with Sky Stones. It doesn't make sense. Come on, you gotta think. Stop changing things that aren't a problem. The more you know. Alright, if you want to change your summoner to a different main summoner, you have to be aware of these things. There is gear for summoners that are only specific to that summoner. For sure the weapon's 100%. You are going to need to have specific weapons for each summoner. But not only that, the sub accessory is summoner specific as well. So those are the six things that you're going to need to farm by itself by that summoner. But if you have earrings, necklace, bracelet, or a ring that you want to transfer to the new summoner. If you want to switch gear from one summoner to the other, you have to unequip it from that summoner. Go to a storage guard in town. And then you'll be able to move everything to your storage. And before you switch to your other summoner, you have to re-register your arena team. Because you won't be able to put the gear that you had on your old summoner. Because it was registered to your old arena team. Now for the last month, all summoners share skill points. So this is a great time to switch if you want to. Another thing to think about is your closet. I think eventually all summoners outfits will be shared at some point, but right now currently they are not. So mental note if you switch, you won't have all of these extra buffs to your monsters or your summoner. You also need to be aware about what monsters you've already built. If you're Orbe, you may have built a lot more support units or knights because that's what you need more than a cleef would. So if you don't have those monsters built, it might not be a good time to switch. Make sure you know what kind of monsters you're going to be using with your new summoner. For Cleef, you're going to need more supports and damage dealers. For Kina, you're going to need more frontline and damage dealers. Whereas Orbia, you needed more supports and a frontline because Orbia can do damage. 
unless you're the calm to us poster child Cleef and he can just pretty much do everything. You just need to be aware of all of these things. And speaking of summoners, you're going to want to know that you can still farm the same path of adventure hard modes or special expedition hard modes or whatever the case, regular expedition. You just got to know that it's going to be different. One more thing you can do before you switch to your main summoner. If you want to unequip gems from your weapon, you can do that by going to the hand worker. You may want to switch some of your gems over to your main summoner. Just click on all your weapons and remove. They will be in your inventory so you can put them on your new summoner. One last thing to note, your account skill points. You may have set this up specifically for your summoner. Because in my opinion, you go down different skill trees depending on who your summoner is. So you may need to go to the magnifying glass and reset it to go specifically for your new summoner. You may need to put in more points to your you may need to put in more points to your monsters or just change some things overall. You're on your new summoner, go to your storage guard, pick up any gear that you have transferred over. And now I have a baby cleave. Just know the stats are not going to probably be where you want them to be. But this is what you're going to have to deal with when switching. You can prepare yourself better before you switch by getting the right raid gear to drop. But you will always have the issue of the weapons and the sub weapon to be what it is. It's just something to think about. You also need to apply new symbols. But again, the outfits, they are not shared. So this is going to be a whole different grind. Weapons, sub weapons, and outfits. But because auto gathering is now here, it does make it a little bit easier. That's mainly why a lot of your stats are not where you want it to be. But just like everything, everything is a grind. Whatever decision you choose, especially as free to play, you're going to be grinding. Don't forget to re-register your arena team with your new summoner. And then give farming those raids so you can get new gear, more sky stones, so you'll be able to promote your gear to six stars, second awakening, and third awakening. Yes, I have a big grind to do now, but I feel like Cleef is going to be what I want to do. In MMOs and any type of game, I've always been a melee type of warrior or knight or tank or whatever. And I chose Orbia in the beginning because waifu, hello. But I've always second guessed my decision. And now that there's things in the game implemented for me to be able to easily switch, I decided now is a good time for that. Especially when they keep buffing Cleef and ignoring Orbia. Not saying Orbia needs buffs, okay? I'm just saying until they can actually balance how much damage Cleef can put out, because his skills should not be doing attack and defense modifiers. I'm just saying I'm joining Team Cleef, and I want to hear something from you. If I bought this outfit, I want him because he's bald, obviously. I want to know if you'd still consider me as free to play. The obvious answer is no. I would still do content as free to play, give you all the free to play options. But I think after six months of me playing for free, I thought it was probably my time to give back to Com to us. At least give him something. But really, I just want it because he's bald. If you tell me not to buy it, I'm not going to buy it because that would actually make my first purchase go away. And then I would get 30 mystical scrolls and two legendary scrolls. Let me know your thoughts. That's it for today's video. I just wanted to make sure you're aware of what you are getting into when you switch to a new summoner. It's a drastic change. It might be overwhelming, but if you're going to switch, you got to do it now because the longer you wait, you're still going to need to do a grind. If you like all my videos, sub, like, ding ding bell. See you in the next one. Peace.